What's going on, man? It's Bank or Hayden, and I'm on the Moment Network. Bank or Hayden, man, I breathe. I appreciate you for being on, being on the episode. How you doing today, man? I'm doing great, man. Thank you for having me. Uh, you started music when you were 13. Uh, made your first, uh, the first song you ever made uh, was from um, a basis called um, Modestro, which yeah. is your hometown. Yeah. And then afterwards, uh, you dropped your basically um, your first song, Sound Called, at, eight, at the age of 16, uh, Rabbit You, which you were doing um, the beat over um, Miss Jackson by yeah. Outkast. Need to rock that makeup, grind forever together, we can get that cake up. Stay real, and we don't ever have to break up. 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 I'd love to know, like, what was the inspiration behind, behind that, that song and behind the beat and everything? Yeah, I just used to um, honestly freestyle with that song with my friends when I was little in the garage. Like, we used to always put on beats and rap together, and they, they would just like to hear me rap and stuff. So i will rap with them and they would rap, even if it wasn't good. With, like, even if they didn't sound good, it would just be hard. But we always used that instrumental song. I got so used to that beat, I said, let me put a remix out. You're 21 now. You've been like, you know, the game for roughly like your four or five years. Yeah. And the, f the features you have, <laughs> it's Appreciate insane. That, with like man. little little Baby, and little Sky, little Tekka, and, and much more. And it's like, I love to know, like, you know, how has it feel, you know, to have like, like so much big features at such, such like a young age and so early into your career? Yeah, it's a blessing, man. I'm grateful and thankful for everything, man. I'm happy that these people are giving me the opportunities to work with them too. So I was listening to, was listening to your album 29 and you know, I was listening to uh, Banana and you mentioned like, you mentioned cancers, right? Yeah. You know, so it's for, like for the fans, like is, is cancer your favorite sign, you know, for the fans or? Shit, Leo is my favorite sign. Leo? Why Leo? Shit, I don't know. It's the vibe. <laughs> it's Leo. the vibe. Out of uh, for out of your whole career, like what was like the most memorable part of your career so far? You know, being on tour and everything. But I know you've done a lot of things, you know. But what was the, mem the most memorable part about it? Um, I don't know, man. Just going to Canada really has been probably gonna be the best memory. I, I feel like. Love it. Yeah, honestly, it's super cool out here, man. I love it out here. I seen that the album's called 29, right? Before we get into the album, obviously, like, I seen, you know, you use 29 a lot. What was, like, what was, like, the purpose of you, uh, of the, the number 29 to you? Yeah. What was the inspiration behind it? So, uh, it was, like, the day my grandma died, um, November 29th, when I was about 8th grade, 15 years old, and then, um, I got into my car crash, um, Yes. November 29th, years later, so, you know what I'm saying, it was, like, and even just talk to talk more about it, but first of all, my condolences you yeah. know, to your grandma and to your people and Not everything. Um, but even to talk about that, because even though we, you went through your car, uh, the car accident, but what, what impressed me the most is the fact that you, you didn't allow that to use it like, as an excuse of just kind of just fall back. You still went to the studio and you created a song, uh, your, uh, song tw with like, 29, which has I recorded like, that. Streaming. I recorded that song in a in a high chair. You ever seen like them high chairs? Yes. Like, I yes. Cause I I couldn't even stand at the mic, so it was like we had like this high chair. Cause I couldn't stand up for wow. like ten minutes. I get dizzy because I was on so much medication and like wow. just some of my injuries were just so painful that I couldn't stand up too long. But you know, I just turned it from a negative to a positive. I could have let that shit eat me alive, and I could have got depressed. I could have took the other route, but you know, I seen the the light in the, the tunnel. That's why I preach to people: pain is temporary. And, 29, man, it's the same, man. It's the same shit, man. Penny's temporary, real time. And what made, like, what was that push that made you, like, like nah, I'm gonna keep going? Like, what was that push that, like, like what was going through your head through, like, through the process of you creating the song and, like, you know? Like, man, I don't know. It's just, like, my only choice, man. I, I didn't want to fail, you know what I mean? I wanted to do better and be a better person, do the right thing, you know? I was getting to the album 29, you know, honestly, man, like, the album's super dope. And, you know, my favorite song, ha, ha, my favorite song has to be Cabo. I'm, I'm Latino, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's definitely hit that, that, that land side. But what was, like, kind of the inspiration of, like, your new album? Shit, man, just, I don't know, man. It's about two years of me putting it together, man, from, wow. like, the Latin side to the piano beats and everything. But, man, 
It's been crazy. Well. And you know, like you, you. What I realized, you usually on um, like on your rap tip, but I was hearing you more on just more. You're like more melodic, more on like you know on the R and B type of vibes. Mm -hmm. What was like? It was there. Is there a reason why you know you want you know just kind of trying for the R and B or? Yeah, just, I'm just trying. Not even R and B. I would say I'm, I'm really just trying to make timeless music. You know what I mean? So we're obviously in the city of Toronto, right? Yeah. Um, so hearing your song, uh, Cincinnati, you, you mentioned your lyrics, uh, up in the hidden hills, tucked away like Drizzy, right, uh, right around your city, lately I've been busy. Is, yeah. Would you say Drake's your favorite artist? Yeah, Drake yeah. or Juice World for sure. Juice World, how like, how's Drake, you know, like, kind of like inspire your music in a sense? Yeah. Or does he, if he doesn't? No, like, he does. It's, it's really the way like his songs are structured and just, He's just like a hit maker, I feel like. Every song's a hit. That's kind of how I try to make my music. It's all hits. Right, so we're on the Moment Network, you know, and so like, what does, what does it mean to you to live in the moment? That's still something this day I, I practice doing. Like, I'm not the best at that. I try, people tell me like, man, you gotta live in the moment more and appreciate, look what's going on type shit, look around you. Absolutely. I'm still trying to master that, you know what I mean? I ain't perfect. I'm trying to do that. I appreciate y'all having me, man. Absolutely. Thank you for, thank you for being on, man. Thank I appreciate you. it. Kill it tonight, man. No, thank you guys, bro. Absolutely. Y'all coming to the show? Absolutely. Let, let, yeah. Appreciate it, man. Absolutely. Love, I'm going to go do some sound check. Appreciate y'all.